No. You know you're not supposed to be in here digging up my dirt. Dude. There's so much screaming going on right now. Why are you guys yelling? I'm not remotely behind schedule. Today is my last day off, guys. Not gonna know what to do without mom coming out a million times a day and checking on them. They probably won't care. Good morning. Good morning, my little my friends. How are you, Shrubby Cat? Had the big dog. Hmm. Since it's just her now, I've moved her bowl up here because this is her like favorite spot to be. Even though it's full of food, she, she thinks she needs just a little bit of fresh. She's the sweetest cat. You guys don't see a lot of her because she doesn't do a whole lot other than bring me half of a dead mouse. Just doing my job, Mom. You guys get to see my new routine today. And then the next video, I'll show you like more how it's gonna go when I go back to school. They're not quite in the groove yet. So everybody's standing in the back. We milked last night for the first time and that worked out really well. Babies have been with moms. Let's just get going. That's a little chaotic. Probably need to separate people into people, goats into pens, just to kind of get them really evenly spread out so everybody gets something to eat. So I thought today would give you guys a little bit of an update on Tink. We're still really struggling with parasites with her and explain to you guys what I do with the goat that I've done all the preventative things with and done an initial course of wormer and they're not getting better. Kind of explain how we tackle that so that hopefully she'll get better. for the second time almost two weeks ago. She got worse instead of better about a week later. I decided at that point that maybe I was not treating whatever the problem actually was. So it could have been coccidia, it could have been something else. So I went ahead and took a stool sample to the vet and it was as if I had not worked her at all, which was really frustrating because I had worked her initially almost preventatively because I didn't like what her color was like, but it wasn't bad. So I'd done that preemptively and now we're worse instead of better, so that was a little bit frustrating. Where's Gobbles? Good morning. That's kind of the way parasites are. And for me, climate-wise, August is, oh, Dooney's come through the fence. No, okay. August is the hardest time of year for us managing parasites. August and September are always the point where I'm a lot more careful and I'm watching. And like I did a few weeks ago, I just kind of worm everybody preemptively because I know it's gonna be a hard time of year. I just dumped out all the feed. They're not gonna be happy about it. And I should've put my hair up before I came out here. frustrating parasites because you do everything right and it's still not work. She's 
like gone from having this soft kind of poop logs to having completely watery diarrhea at this point, despite everything I've been doing. You do kind of have to reevaluate. What we've done is switch wormer. My cydectin was out of date, so I just had the vet give me a single dose until I can buy a new bottle. And I'll show you the bottle that we have. That's what we did yesterday. We dosed her with a different wormer. No improvement this morning, but that was last night. So it may take a couple of days. But I'm gonna show you all the supplements that I'm gonna give her. At this point, she's not super, super anemic. Her color is a lot worse than I'd like for it to be. And the diarrhea to me is less concerning as long as we can keep her from being extremely anemic. That would be what would kill her, would be the anemia. I'm gonna show you what I do for goats that get really parasite loaded and that are really sick. She's still eating and active and acting totally normal. So that's a really good thing because I've had goats that will go off feed. They're really hard to bring back, but I have. And I'm gonna show you everything that I do and tell you some things that your vet can do so that if you ever get in a situation where you have a goat that is really, really bad sick with parasites, you have at least a plan of action. All of these things are things that have been recommended to me by my vet. It is not things that I've come up with on my own. They're all veterinary care based. But I'm on a vet, so make sure to check with the vet in your area. And if you have a goat that's really sick, please take a stool sample so that you know specifically what you're fighting. These are a few of the things that I'm gonna use. She's gonna get, continue to get her dose of red cell, which is gonna help with the anemia. It's just like vitamins and iron. So it's labeled for horses, but you can use it for goats. This was what my vet recommended. Help rebuild red blood cells after being extremely anemic. She's not super anemic yet, but she is a little bit, so this is what we're gonna do for her until I'm comfortable with where her color is. This is the wormer that we gave her. This is the oral. They gave me the injectable, which goats also take orally. This is Cydectin. This is what it would look like at Tractor Supply. Tractor Supply is the only place that carries it up here. It's expensive. This is about $75 to $90 a bottle. Like I said, mine's expired, so I'm gonna have to go buy some more. You have to look up the dosage for this because it's not the same for sheep and goats. But that's what I gave her yesterday. I'm going to continue to give her this probiotic paste just help her stomach because we're just heavy on wormer right now and we're gonna have to continue to be. So I'm confident that I'm treating worms. I know that I'm treating worms. I will give them a little bit of this scour check. This just helps them from getting so super dehydrated. You just give them a couple of pumps. Don't recommend this if you are not using Famacha, you're not doing regular fecals because diarrhea is a sign of a problem and if you get rid of the symptom, then you may not treat the problem and you'll just kind of be in an infinite loop. So if she goes another two days with liquid poop, then I'm gonna give her this because I know there's not anything else for another two weeks that I can do to treat the worms and I would rather her not be scouring and have diarrhea. So we're gonna do all these things and I'll show you one more thing that I'm gonna do. Guys, this dog. No! You know you're not supposed to be in here digging up my dirt. Dude. It's a constant battle to keep him out of here. Like he knows now he's not supposed to be in here, but it's where he wants to be. I need you to leave. We'll leave you here for just a minute while I take care of this goat and then you have to go. Don't give me that face. Say good morning, kitties. Morning, Cheeto. Mom's got to get you guys fed too. Well, let's take care of Tinkerbell. They've locked themselves in. This is good. We'll take this opportunity. She's a little thin, not too bad, but she's definitely started to lose weight, and that again is um, a lot of just the diarrhea. Uh, give her is a couple of pumps of this Nutri Drench. You can pretty much find this at any farm supply store. I use this anytime an animal is sick, no matter what they're sick with. It's just a nutritional supplement. She's eating like a horse, so not as big of a concern, but if she had stopped eating and grazing, we'd be giving a lot more of this. For now, just a couple of pumps. Again, a lot of vitamins, nutrient rich. It's just gonna help her body fight this stuff off. It's my last little supplement. Okay, so she is all wormed and supplemented today. We will do all of those supplements every day until I'm confident that she has turned the corner and her color started to improve. She's just really tiny 
and her health has always been odd because she is so small. So just gonna keep a really close eye on her. The other thing that I will do that I really don't wanna do with her, but if we have to, we will, is we'll lock her in a stall with hay and feed and we will not let her have access to pasture. Because what happens is she's reinfecting herself on the pasture and it's just a cycle. Because we've rotated so much, she shouldn't have a super heavy load with the pasture. It has rained a lot the past few weeks and I'm kind of concerned that that's why. It's just really wet and so we've had more worm growth where before it was like really hot. Pastures were burn up. We we're probably low on parasite load in our pasture. We're gonna give this wormer the opportunity to work and see if she'll improve in the next couple of days. If she doesn't, then we'll move in that direction. I hate to lock her up because it's gonna add more stress for her to be in here by herself because she is still up and walking around and acting totally normal. If I ever have a goat that is lethargic, <laughs> is not eating well, then I automatically lock them up because I, we've gotten to a point where we've got to do everything possible. She's not doing well. I don't like where she is. I am really concerned. We are going to watch her really closely. I'm not to the point where I want to lock her up. I'll keep you guys updated and I hope some of this information is helpful for you. I know. Nosy Nellies. What is all over your face, Daisy? Trouble maker. For those of you who are new, when Tink was little, she came in here every morning, every evening, and she had breakfast and dinner for a really long time. And Duke babysat her for a while because she couldn't be around other goats because she was so sick. And he's used to being able to come over here and steal some of her dinner. We're having to learn that this food is for Tinkerbell, the goat, not for the dog. So this is something else I'm doing for her is just letting her have a little bit extra to eat at night. We're just making sure that because her body's working really hard to fight off these worms that she's got all the nutrition she needs. Obviously, this one's growing baby goats. That's why she's in here. Her butt actually looks dry, like there's some dry poop, but it is not wet, which is a good sign, which means that probably that wet stuff's starting to kind of congeal a little bit. Still dirty, still really stinky, but hopefully on a mint. They hopefully so. She hates being held now. She used to love being snuggled as a baby. Nani's gonna be really mad that she missed out on dinner. She has no milk, so last night when I brought her in, Pixie has a little bit of milk, but she has none. So these two, May have to go into the weaning pen for a few weeks. <laughs> yes, so that mamas will wean them. Are my moves? Good evening, moves. It's supposed to be fall like weather all next week, and I am looking forward to that. Hi guys. Hi handsome fellas. I'm just checking on ya. You looking good. Yeah, are you looking spelt? Ready for some dates in about a month? Bean's definitely ready. Um, we've only been doing milk at night for like two days. 
you should not already be slobbering. Watch out, waffles. These pickles will get ya. Pigs didn't break the camera. Here we go. Here we go. Too neat. That's all the milk that I have, babe. Hello, sweet fella. He's so sweet. These boys are so sweet. I think it's been good for waffles to be with Link. Cause Link is so sweet and just calm. He's Zelda's obviously, Link and Zelda. Yes sir. All right little birds. Did we make babies? Mom's really hopeful that we made some babies. Night buddies. So here in about a month, we'll be able to ultrasound her again to see if she's pregnant. That will mean go babies in November and piglets in December, which will be awesome. Let's see how much the cheese poof weighs. Two and a half pounds. So big enough to be neutered and big enough for flea and tick treatment. Shrub is not amused. Yes, I know. It's okay. She obviously doesn't leave the barn very often. Are you my cheese pooper? He and Dottie are about the same size. He's probably a little bit bigger, but I don't think like a whole half pound bigger. <laughs> He's so chill. My dang cheese poofer. Yes, I know. That's a good kitten. At least you're ready for dinner. I'm ready for dinner. Okay, I'm ready for dinner. Hello, my sweet girl. Hi, dog. Hello. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, so you know every time we put out a new video, we love you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.